Cape champions and future amateurs. It's Bad Sports, and I'm your host, Chad Whipple, live from the bunker. Man, I'm fired up for today. You may remember our man from the field, Gil. So in addition to being a huge sports fan, Gil here is uh, a big fan of cities. <laughs> cities. Oh, I love cities. You love them. I... What do you like about them? Okay, if we're gonna talk cities, let's talk cities. Yeah. I love buildings. I like the yellow cars. Uh, Urban infrastructure. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Last week, Gil and I went down to Dallas City. Yeah, we did. Right. Yeah, Gil basically wanted to get try to get back together with his ex from SMU. Uh, trying to reignite that flame. I was successful. We're back together, long distance. It's going to be open this time. Okay. It, it affords me the opportunity to, to mess around with the girls up here. So while basically Gil was knuckles deep in a twin XL on campus at the Pi Fi house, mm -hmm. um, I got to get it in with one of the greatest sports legends I've been loving from afar for a long time. You could say he's the only equivalent we have to Whoopi Goldberg's famous film, Eddie. Mark Cuban. Hey, it's Chad Whipple. I'm in Dallas, not really a lacrosse town, but good for them for giving it a shot with another pure legend, Mark. Just got a few questions. Um, Mark, were the Mavericks named after Tom Cruise's character in Top Gun or that movie with Mel Gibson and the white-haired guy. Seriously? Moving on. Um, do you encourage the players in the offseason to play lacrosse? Yeah, I want my guys getting hit with sticks. I like that. I like, I like that attitude. Listen to that. And lastly, the question on everybody's mind, is owning a sports team like owning a house? And if so, how does a guy like me get a mortgage? Is that what it's called? Chad, I'm a really big fan of the show. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thanks. Cool. Hey, do you smoke menthols? So, yeah. The uh, answer is Mark Cuban does smoke menthols. You heard it here first. Mark Cuban loves cools. No, they were, they were merits. Merit menthols. You heard it here first. Mark Cuban is cool, and he smokes merit menthols. Today's guest is a dude uh, from the Big Apple. Torched the NYC corporate leagues with my boy Maxa. Um, but his true passion is playwriting. Let's give it up to my buddy, Carl Barron. Yeah. All right. What's up? What's up, Dad? Yo, Max says what's up. Oh, cool. Yeah, give my best. What's up, buddy? Uh, chilling, man. Uh, doing oh. all right. Yeah, chilling hard, huh? Well. Yeah. Life of a successful playwright. Carl's from the Apple, which uh, last time I checked is a pretty tight ass city. I love that place. I love that place. Have you have you been to JG Mellon's After Dark and had their bloody bowl? After Dark? No. So let's get down to brass tacks. Carl, you have some new material you've been working on that's been causing up a stir. Yeah, it's been causing up a massive stir. The play is called Larry the Bird. Um, it's unoptioned. What I hope we could do is read a scene that I wrote. And Are you serious? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Oh my God, this is great. All right, this is this is a first. I play Larry Bird. Okay. And I was hoping that you could play uh, his father, Joe Bird. It's a two per, yeah. Bill, you wanna give us a shake? I, I could I could give it a shake if okay. you, I mean, it's your show. No, it's fine, it's fine. As long as you don't think Which that one? dyslexia is gonna factor in, we're good. Let's do that, you Can guys you read, read it? it. And why don't you give us a little context? All right, Gil. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll be playing the role of Joe Bird, Larry, Larry's father. Larry's father. Okay. Oh, great. I'm playing Larry. I come out and I'm a little taken aback because I see you hanging by a noose from the rim that's attached to our barn. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is really nitty gritty stuff. All right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. All right. God damn it, Dad. You bent the goddamn rim. Fuck. Son, I'm not dead. Help me down. I but you better fix that fucking rim. So then I throw the ball yeah, okay. at the rim, dislodging the noose, and you fall to the ground. Okay, should I get on the ground? Yeah, or maybe just lie on the couch and put your head on his lap. Okay. All right? Like this? Yeah, okay. Uh, Is it my line? Yeah, it's your line. Sorry. Thank you, son, hold on one second. Whatever. So you go into the house, you come back, and this time you're holding a shotgun. And I say, whoa, what the fuck are you doing with that shotgun? 
I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. And then you blow your head off with a, sh with a shotgun. Jesus Christ. Lights go dark, black. Come back on. What do I see but a severed head rolling in my direction, looking a lot like a basketball. I pick it up, I look at it for a second, and then I shoot it into the basket. Swish, motherfucker. And that's the end. That's, that's the it. Yeah. So you're buddies with Mark Cuban. Yeah, I don't really, I mean, I, I, would you I, send it to no, him? No, I saw him at an Apple. You know him. Yeah, I, yeah. he's being honest. <laughs> he knows him. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know yeah. a little yeah. bit, but you know, I'm, I'm working hard at getting getting my play uh, bad sports. No, no. And we, yeah. I think Larry the Bird is the way to go. Yeah. Okay, so that totally about wraps it up really? uh, for us here today at Bad Sports. Be sure to check out Carl Barron's uh, latest uh, play. Larry the Bird. Larry the Bird, when it hits theaters. Uh, it, Mark Cuban. If it ever Holler. does get Holler produced, it's um, going to. And I think I think that's it. Remember, live from the bunker. There's no such thing as bad sports, just uh, just bad attitudes. But <laughs> that's that's not that bad either. Uh, you might want to think about auditioning Gil when it really gets put up because he needs some employment. I just did.